Welcome back, writers. This is Mrs. Schoonerman here to do some writing with you again today. And today we are going to be writing an informational type of writing called how to writing. We're back to how to writing. So remember, when we're making a how to writing piece, we're just showing our readers how to do something. And today we are going to show our readers how to plant a seed. So that's what we have in store today. Let's look at our learning targets. Today, just as we've done before, I can use my writing checklist to help me remember what good writers do. So we'll use our writing checklist to help us remember what do good writers do. We will also, our second target is, I can write to teach my reader how to plant a seed. So we are going to write to teach the reader how to plant a seed. Remember the writing checklist. Our writing checklist, number one, whenever we start a sentence, we should use a capital letter. Whenever we are starting a new word, we leave a finger space in between our words. Number three, we use our letter sounds to sound out words that we don't know. So we stretch the word out. We listen for the beginning, the middle, and the end sounds, and we write down the sounds that we can hear. Number four, I can use punctuation. We're gonna, to, when we are done with our thought, we need to end our sentence with a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. And the last part, I can draw a picture that matches. So whatever you're writing about, the picture should match. Whatever you're drawing about, the writing should match. They should match each other. All right, so it is time to see what are the steps in planting a seed. I'll be right back. Hey there, gardeners. All right, let's get ready to plant our seed. So I found in my house, I've got apples. So I've got an apple seed. So I'm gonna put the apple seed in the soil first. There we go. Next, you gotta cover it up. Put some soil on top. With my little trowel here. After you cover up your seed, then we need to add some water. Pour it all around. And then we all know what we else the seed needs. We need to give it air. And then we need to give it time. And it'll start to grow. I'm gonna say that chant that we said back in school before. Remember it? Say it with me if you remember. First you take the seed and you plant it in the ground. The ground, the ground. You plant it in the ground. Then you take the water and you pour it all around. Around, around. You pour it all around. Then you give it air. And you give it time. The seed starts to grow. Well, ain't that fine? Whoosh. Those are the steps to how to plant a seed. Now it's time to write and draw the steps. All right, writers, now that we know how to plant a seed, it's time for the, write, the drawing and the writing of the steps to show our reader how do we plant a seed. So at the top here, I labeled my writing piece, how to plant a seed, so that my reader knows what this writing piece is about. Now remember, when we use the writing process, we always first think about the picture. What do we do? We think about the picture. Then we draw the picture. So if you remember when I just showed you all the steps on how to plant a seed, the first step, that first step was, we took a seed 
and we put it in some soil. So I'm going to use my brown marker to make some soil. Soil is another word for dirt. So we're going to put the seed in the dirt, in the soil. Next, once our seed is in there, we've got it in there in the dirt. And we'll add some more brown here. We need to cover it up. So remember in the when I showed you, I used a shovel or a trowel to scoop up some more dirt. And then I scooped it right on top and I covered it up. You cover the seed with dirt. The next thing we do, do you remember what seeds need in order to grow? They need a, a bunch of different things. So we took out, so here's our little cup of soil. We said, first you take the seed and you plant it in the ground. The ground, the ground, you plant it in the ground. Then you take the water, so we're gonna give it some water. I'm just gonna make some blue droplets to show that's the water. So the plant, need, the seed needs water. What else does it need? Hmm, it needs air. So I'm just gonna make some wavy lines to show that it's getting some air. And hmm, well, it doesn't grow right away. It needs some time. So what I'll do is I'll draw a little clock here showing that's the time. We need to give it time. And I didn't talk about this in the song, but there's something really, really, really important that seeds need in order to grow. If you know, and if you said they need sun, you are right. Plants, they need sun in order to grow. So I'm adding the sun part. And the last step is we just need to let it grow. So I've got my pot here with the seed in there, and I'm going to make a little sprout coming out. I'm going to give it a green stem. And ta da! It's growing! All right. The next step is we need to add the words to our writing. So we've got all our pictures here. Now we need to add the words. Remember writers, before we start writing, we wanna think about what we want to write and say it five times. So we remember what we wanna put on our paper, five times. All right, so the first thing that I did, I wanna make sure my writing matches the picture. The first thing I did is I put the seed in the dirt. That sounds like a good sentence. Put seed in dirt. As a good writer, I'm starting my sentence with a capital. So put, put, seed, leave a finger space, seed, seed, put, seed, in. That is a sight word, so we can spell that in a snap. Put seed in dirt. Leave a finger space. Dirt. D. Dirt. And we end our sentence with a period. I'll add the teacher rating underneath. Put seed in dirt. Next. Next, we have to cover the seed with dirt. So that will be my next sentence. Cover the seed with dirt. Start with a capital. I hear a C. I hear an O. Uh, ooh, that's a V. Cover and an R. Cover the. That's a sight word. Seed, and I already wrote seed up here, so I'm just going to write what I wrote up there. Cover the seed with what? Hey, that's a TH digraph I hear. When the T and the H get together, it makes the tongue stick out and we go. The TH digraph. C 
cover the seed with dirt. Dirt. And then we end our sentence with a period. I'll add the teaching writing. Cover the seed with dirt. Then, this is a big sentence. There is a lot going on in this picture. There's a lot that a seed needs in order to grow. Remember, we give it water and air and time and sun. So I want to add all those details. So this word says then. We're going to spell give it water. So give g. E -v. Give it. That's a sight word. We can spell that in a snap. Give it water. W t er. I'm going to add a comma. I'm going to add another word. Give it water. Air. Air. Time. I mm, and sun. And is a sight word. And then sun. I'll tap that one out. Uh mm. and we always end our sentence with punctuation. There's my period. Here's the teacher writing. Give it water. Air. Time and sun. And the last part is to let it grow. Let it grow. Let. Let. Let it. That's another sight word. Let it grow. G. Oh, uh, let it grow. I'm going to add an exclamation point because I'm excited to say this part. Let it grow. And I don't need to add any teacher writing because underneath, because this is actually how we spell that. All right, writers, it's that time. Go grab your pencil. Go grab a piece of paper. Go grab some pen uh, colored pencils or crayons or markers, whatever you have at home. And I want you to show your readers how to plant a seed. So your target is, I want you to make sure that you remember the writer's checklist. Remember to use punctuation. Use your capitals to start your sentence. Use finger spaces between the words. Sound out those words that are a little tricky that you don't know how to spell. And make sure that all your pictures match what you are writing about. Okay, always please remember, have an adult take a picture and send it to your teacher when you are finished with your writing because we would love to keep it and see what you have been up to. All right, have a wonderful writing day and I will see you next time. Bye.